Hello there guys and welcome to this episode of Go Inkscape. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a circle label design in Inkscape. So to get started let's go over to our polygon tool. What we want to do is make sure that we're set on the star instead of the polygon and we're going to set our corners to 55 and a spoke ratio of 0.95. Now go ahead just select on the screen and you'll see we get a design like this. That looks good. Now what I want to do is go up to Object and open up Fill and Stroke so we can give this the proper color. Uh, I like this color but the fill definitely should not be white so let's go ahead and get the dropper and just select that color. And I really don't want a stroke on here so I'm going to uncheck that. Perfect. Now also with designing this I want everything to be centered on the canvas. So I'm going to go up to Object, Align and Distribute. Now we can drag this, drag it over here to dock it. I want it lower though. There we go. So to center this, I'm going to do relative to page. And with this selected, we'll go ahead and I'll center horizontally and vertically. So now we have our bases set up. What we need to do is add some trim. And go ahead and draw just a normal circle here. Now I can't really see it, so let's go ahead and add some color. We'll just make it white. Now what I want to do is add just a little bit of a white trim here. So I'm going to add some stroke and then actually get rid of the fill. And let's thin this up a bit, maybe five pixels. Now let's just go ahead I'm going to hold control and shift to stretch this a bit and something like that should be good. Now I'm also going to go down to align and distribute and do the same thing we did before just to go ahead and keep everything aligned. Alright so far so good. Now I also want to add some more details as far as the trim goes, so I'm going to draw another circle here. This one's going to be a little bit different. I want to make sure that there's no fill, alright? I'll go ahead and stretch it just a little bit. Okay, this is good for now. Now what I want to do is actually do uh, dots, a circle ring of dots. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the circle tool, and I'm going to drag just a little one there. I'm going to make it a white fill and get rid of the stroke completely. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit, let's see, I want to make it pretty small and I'm going to go up to path and object to path to convert it into an object instead of just an ellipse. So with it selected, now we can go up to object and go objects to marker. Now it'll disappear, but what this has done is added it to our marker library. Now I'm going to click this circle and do the same thing, I'm going to go to path and object to path. Now you see we have four nodes here making up this circle. Now keep note of that because we'll be adding more soon. Now go over to the stroke style and under markers you should see our custom one here. Since it's white it's hard to see but this is it. Now we'll select it. Now you see we have our circles here and they're pretty large but to shrink those up we just adjust our stroke size here. Now I want them pretty darn small. We'll try that. And now you see that there's four circles right there. Uh, we don't want that white ring either so you can go ahead and just remove the stroke. But to add more circles, we'll go ahead and select all of our nodes here, and then we'll just add some more. Just keep adding, adding, and adding. Perfect, that looks pretty good. The circles are definitely too large still, so let's shrink those up. Just keep, just keep tinkering with the settings until you get something you like. Perfect, this looks good. And I'm also going to center, horizontally and vertically. Perfect, so far so good. Now what I want inside of the label is going to be the Go Inkscape logo. Luckily I have this open already in another file. I'll just go ahead and copy this and we'll go back to our other window. I'm going to go ahead and paste it. To keep it in line with the color scheme, I'm obviously going to uh, change these colors. Let me just size it up a little bit. Uh, something like this should be good for now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and color this white. There we go. Let me just get this border also. There we go, looking good. And to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to select this and control G to group. And let's center it, as usual. Perfect. Now let's just size it up a little bit more. You can keep playing with this, it's never going to be perfect until, until you're done with it. But let's, uh, let's keep going. So next, what I want to do is add some stars. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to click this brush icon to reset. And make sure we're set to the star still, and we have five. I'll go ahead and draw one star here. Perfect. And I'm going to add a little bit of rounding to it. Uh, yeah, that looks good. 
All right, so let's go ahead and shrink this up. And I want five of them in a row. So what I'm gonna do is just control D to duplicate. And I'm just gonna stretch these out. They don't have to be perfectly even yet. We'll be doing that next. Oh, now it's a little crooked. Let's start over. There we go. And control D. There we go, that looks good. So to even these all out, what I'm gonna do is select this. And then let's go to align and distribute. And I want, uh, let's see, this one here, make horizontal gaps between objects equal. Perfect. And that evened that up very nicely. And before I go ahead and move these and screw it up again, I'm gonna control G and group them. That way we won't have any more issues. Plus we can go ahead and align it. Excellent stuff. Now for some extra fun, I wanna add the current year on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to our font tool. I'm gonna go ahead and type down 2015. Now also, I'm looking for a specific font called Poetsim1. There we go. Now let's go ahead and size this up. And I wanna make this white also. So let's just go ahead and take care of that right now. Also, I wanna go back to the font tool and push these numbers a little closer together. So I'm gonna go over to this drop box and just press down a little bit. There we go. Perfect, let's size it up and center. All right, so far so good. Now also, I'm noticing what might look a little bit better is if I add another one of these rings. I don't know about you, but I think that might help a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this here. If it doesn't work, then, you know, oh well. well I'll make it a little bit thicker. Maybe something like 10. And let's see if we can squeeze it in. And maybe a little bit bigger. I feel like it would fill it out a little bit better. Let's go ahead and align it. Maybe shrink it up a bit. There we go. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I think I'll keep it. Perfect, let's make sure, double check I align that. Okay, perfect. And now one of the final touches I wanna do is actually add the Inkscape logo to the bottom of this. So we're gonna have to go to our file explorer to find uh, the file. So what I've done here is gone to my Inkscape root file. So it should look something like this. I'm looking for the Inkscape logo, which should be under Share and Icons. And I'm looking for Inkscape File SVG. Let's go ahead and double click to open this. So this is pretty much the logo we're gonna use, but I definitely wanna simplify this a bit. So you can see that it's all grouped up here, but I'm going to Control, Shift, and G to ungroup it. You could also go to Object and simply click Ungroup. Now I'm gonna do that and just simply start getting rid of these special effects here. I'll kind of just have to tinker with it. There we go. And it looks like I can ungroup it one more time. So I'll do that. I'll keep that one. Don't know what that is, we'll get rid of that. Okay, this is good, we'll start here. Let's go ahead and just start giving these some standard colors. We don't need the gradients. It won't look very good with our label design. And make sure those are white. Nope, the opacity is down. There we go. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's get rid of this drop shadow also. Excellent. Now let's go ahead, select these, and Control C to copy. And let's go back to our original file. Now go ahead and just paste it right here. All right, so somewhere down here should look pretty good. But I also want it to match the, the colors that I have going on here. So let's go ahead and tinker with those some more. And I want here, I believe I'm going to make the base color white. So I should color these white ones red. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all of them individually, holding shift. So I select them, there we go. I'm gonna do the color dropper and I'm just gonna click. Perfect. And it looks like that this whole black shape is just a separate single shape. So let's go ahead and give that white. Perfect. And before I go ahead and mess it up, I'm going to group it. And let's make sure we're centered and bring it down, something like that. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking this looks pretty good. All right, there we go. I don't know about you, but that looks pretty good for a Inkscape circle label design. Let's go ahead and export this and see what it looks like. Remember, we don't just make videos. You can head over to GoInkscape.com for daily tips and tutorials exclusively for Inkscape. Thanks for watching.